This is the last piece of the map and the end of the enigma. Now I know where my journey will come to its end, in the very center of the island. I'll have to make my way upriver. It's dangerous, but if I follow the map, I should make it. Jim? Jim Hawkins? Pepita, where'd you disappear to? Will you explain to me once and for all what game you're playing? I shouldn't. I promised my father not to tell you anything. Your father? Long John Silver. I'm his daughter. What are you talking about? He died childless. Otherwise, why would he have left his treasure to me? He's alive! The will, the map, the enigma. All that was just made up to bring you here to him. What about the chest I found? A mere test. Daddy wanted to try you before entrusting you with his true treasure. Oh, right. A greater treasure is in store. Just what is it, anyway? You really haven't any idea? Mmm... Do you think I'm pretty? You surprised me when you came. I didn't expect you so soon. I, w I was afraid. I wanted to run away and I tripped. You were afraid of me? My father said I wasn't to show myself. When I realized you were going to find my hiding place, I panicked. Very clever. You weren't any better. When the statue screamed, you didn't think twice either and took to your heels. Of course. I wanted to guide you to the bush that cures the fever. Wouldn't it have been simpler to prepare the medicine for me? Too easy. Daddy told me specifically not to help you too much. Uh, yes. I wanted to frighten you a bit, to see how you'd react. What if you had crushed me? Not a chance. I aim to just miss you. Not a chance, huh? A blunder can easily happen. But I shouted to warn you. And anyway, everything turned out fine, didn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I really shouldn't. My father wants to tell you it all himself. Come on, then. All right. I'll tell you. After the celebrated Hispaniola expedition, Long John set up with his family on Emerald Island. He had two good reasons to disappear to that godforsaken place. To escape from the king's justice and from the pirates. The years go by. When illness carries off his wife, the old man worries about his daughter's future. Who'll watch over her when it's his turn to pass on? Who'll bring her back to civilization? Neither a pirate nor an outlaw, but an honest and loyal fellow. In fact, Long John has but one friend worthy of his trust, Jim Hawkins. To incite Jim to come, Long John can't simply send a clearly worded invitation. That would lead to disaster if his enemies intercepted the message. So, he drafts his will, accompanied by an enigma and a treasure map. The route is carefully prepared in order to test the young man. Pepita is instructed to monitor his progress. She has to observe his reactions and forge an opinion about him. If she likes the boy, she'll let him reach the hideout where Long John awaits. If he displeases her, She'll fix things so Jim leaves the island without meeting anybody. We know the outcome. Jim saves Pepita, and the young lady breaks the rules by confiding in him. It's my father who should have explained all that to you at the end of your journey. But you're almost there anyway, so I imagine it doesn't make much difference. In the most inaccessible spot on the island, Near the Blood River Falls. Let's go see him together. No! He'll be angry if he sees that I didn't play my role till the very end. Give me a little head start, and then you leave. You have the map and the enigma to guide you. Have it your own way, then. Be patient. It's almost over. I have to go now. See you at the falls!
Peter's been gone quite a while. It's time for me to get moving. A black flag. What could that mean? The pirates. Hey, that degenerate! Didn't Morgan tell us to go round the whole island? Then why tire ourselves? Morgan were lucky he set his hook on the lass, and she'll take him direct to Long John for sure. When the old man's got what's coming to him, we'll be off. Think we'll have to wait long? I almost hope so. Thanks to this tafia we come upon in the fort, we can keep us busy. <laughs> You're down enough a dram. Listening to the pirates, Jim realizes the seriousness of the situation. Devil only knows how Morgan and his gang found Emerald Island. They've come to hunt down Long John and kill him. While hugging the coastline to find a safe mooring, they surprise their enemy's daughter. Morgan has forced Pepita to guide him to the headwaters of Blood River. Two of his men accompany him. Others were ordered to explore the island, once out of sight of their chief, they prefer getting drunk. By thunder, I have a bunch of buccaneers on my hands. Think I'll start by dealing with those two drunks in front of the fort. Master, I think that scum came 
this far on my own ship. Cursed bastards. 